um, LACA's first um, public um, um, webinar on the COVID associated conditions. Uh, my name is Liu Zhongye. I am one of the key uh, lecturers of LACA. Um, nice to meet you all here. And today we're going to have four um, the major senior lecturers in uh, LACA to give uh, some mm -hmm. lecture, uh, the, uh, the talks about the, the treatment with um, COVID-19 associate conditions. And we also, we, we um, mainly focusing on the post COVID symptom, which is that, you know, the, the now, uh, the more um, highly um, concerning part for the people who recover from the infections. So uh, I think that would be a very interesting talk um, to see um, the different peoples and different lectures, um, uh, their, their, their key um, ideas and their research um, areas. So um, that would be very um, various um, aspects um, to target at the, the same topic. So um, the, we're going to have first lecture to give our talk. And this is, this is uh, Mr. Xie Xiaojun. Okay, so please, Xiaojun, um, would you start to your your um, your talk, please? Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Doctor Ye. This is an introduction. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, today, I'd like to share some you know, information uh, about the post COVID nineteen syndromes. Uh, first, welcome to the LACA, uh, the online, uh, 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 we say CPD or something, uh, lectures. And we have a diploma course for the herbs and the acupuncture. So if you're interested in uh, later on, you can uh, uh, search uh, our website to get more information. And today I'd like to share some information about the post-COVID-19 symptoms. Now I'd like to share my screen. Uh, a little bit slow. Just a minute. Can you see the screen? The shared screen? Yeah. yeah. The, Sorry, it's not working well, the share screen function. Could it be the, the broadband speed problem? Not sure, I'm sorry. it was working quite well. Oh, maybe Tianjin can help to, um, to play that. Uh... Okay, I can do, but <clears throat> maybe uh, Dr. Sher, you can stop and try again. Sometimes the, the program or the signal, you can try again. Otherwise, I, I can prepare for you. Okay, uh, hang on a second. Yeah, I'll try to open it. Sorry, but it'll take a while. It goes quite slow.
And uh, okay, uh, Dr. Tin, uh, Tin Jin. I, I can do it for you. Uh, yeah, could you please play for me? Uh, I think we're around. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so today um, the topic is, my topic is discussion of helping post covid 19 syndromes with a six meridian method. I think you, uh, most of uh, you are not very clear about the six meridian method. So let me just introduce a little bit about the six meridian method. Six meridian method is, uh, has a close relationship with the five uh, uh, elements. So it's talking about, you know, the, the, the uh, the process of the disease or process of the life. So, because if you talk about, you know, discuss, you know, the the the, the sim syndromes of a post covid nineteen. So first, we have to understand the, the process of the uh, disease. You know, the covid covid nineteen. It doesn't matter. It is a covid nineteen or other kind of a disease. You know, uh, when it when it's developing, it will go through uh, these levels. You know, uh, we say uh, first level, second level. Now, first first level is called Tai uh, Tai Yang. Second level called uh, Shao Yang. The third, Yang Ming. So, the fourth one, Tai Yin and uh, Shao Yin and Jue Yin. All these uh, six levels. So, next please, next page. Yeah, we know, you know, uh, most of, you know, post covid 19 uh, syndromes, uh, you know, for example, like, you know, uh, tiredness or difficult to uh, breathe and uh, maybe heart, quite serious uh, heart problems or kidney problem. But it doesn't matter what kind of problems, you know, we call it, you know, the, uh, uh, the reason is acute upper respiratory infection. It will have a couple of, uh, you know, uh, uh, symptoms. The first related with a uh, nasal fer uh, pharyngitis. You know, people have a, you know, for example, like a blocked nose, runny, runny nose. Second one, you know, you say target symptoms are due to the inflammation because of you know the, the virus or uh, and later on maybe bacteria. People have a a, a version of cold with a fever. Uh, the, uh, the last one. Yeah, the fever or people have a, you know, a pain all over the body, they feel quite painful of, of the muscle. Some kind of, you know, the virus can affect, you know, the uh, stomach and the intestine. They have, they have, maybe they have, a, you know, for example, like a diarrhea, they have a vomiting or nausea. So when we talk about these kind of conditions, we have, uh, because, you know, if you Google it, you can find, you know, some kind of a reasons, but, what I want to say, then you know the reasons. I'd like to uh, sh uh, say some reasons, you know, in Chinese uh, uh, medicine or Chinese cultures. So it doesn't matter what kind of a problem. So you know, uh, we say if it happened, it's probably it should be related with the three reasons. So we say favorable timing and the geographical conditions and the human conditions. So for example, at the cover nineteen, for we say favorable timing. For example, like a global warming, you, you know, the, the climate, the temperature get higher and higher. That makes, you know, the virus, some kind of a virus and bacteria uh, is easy to survive. So, of, of course, as uh, we know, so we are living together with uh, many kinds of viruses and bacteria. So we live together because, you know, we say roughly it's a 380 trillion viruses living inside our body and also three uh 38 trillion bacteria living inside our body we, we are living quite well we are go along quite well when we get you know some kind of an infection by viruses for example like you know common cold so uh, it's very likely that's because you know our immune system our immune system you know get uh, weaker something's wrong our immune system, we get weaker. And then these kind of viruses or bacteria can attack, you know, the body. But in general, what I want to say, we are working, we are go along quite well with all these, you know, trillions of bacteria and uh, uh, viruses. 
we say just because you know the uh, the 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 uh, the climate, the temperature changed, you know, uh, this first reason. And second, we say geographical conditions, for example, like uh, uh, pollution, the air pollution and uh, you know water pollution and also the food you know get polluted that make it, uh, can make us you know, get affected and can make uh, our uh, selves you know the immune system to, to get lower and the third one we said the human conditions because you know some people do the research in the last 40 uh, in the last 40 years you know uh, the human being condition is get vulnerable for example, you know the. For example, just to give you an example, like a reproductive system, we say the sperms. Some research shows, you know, the sperms. The you know, when we treat the infertility problems, we have to look at you know the female parts and the male part. But for the male part, you know, it's so one of the reasons suffer from the infertility. So some research shows, you know, the 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 quantity of the sperm the drop down. 60, uh, 60 percentage in the last 40 years. And also in comparison with the Asian times, you know, our, you know, the human being, the androgen is dropped down quite, uh, quite heavily. So we are not as strong as uh, Asian times. Of course, definitely, because we mentioned the couple of reasons we say it, uh, on average, because, you know, we say in the, in the, you know the we say the 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 law of the jungles we say survival of the fitness in the jungle but for the human being we protect you know the vulnerable yeah so just just because we we are protecting vulnerable that makes you know in, in in general our immune system um has got lower including everyone because we say you know uh the climate change and temperature change and also you know the pollution many kind of things Okay, so next page. Next page, please. Okay, so if you have a, if you have a, you know, the look, because, you know, for the, you know, cover 19 is a little bit different with the uh, viruses we got, you know, uh, the, the daily, uh, daily lives. Because cover 19 is different because you know the normal you know viruses are living together quite well with us, but the cover 19 is a different one. They are persided in the other animals. Maybe you know the animals uh, you know go along quite well with our, you know, for example, like cover 19, these kind of viruses, but not working quite well, you know, with the uh, human being. When the climate permits, when the you know the we are geographical condition perm permit. And maybe it can affect the you know human being, make us have a quite lot you know uh, symptoms. Yeah, for example, uh, we say you know the uh, the post COVID nineteen symptoms, including the you know and encephalitis uh, for the you know uh, on the brain, it can affect the you know the the brain and encep uh, encephalopathy, and make people have a difficult to breath, a chest pain. Coughing and palpitation. Yeah, some people after uh, uh, suffer from that, uh, you know, the COVID nineteen. Then later on, they have a numbness of the forelimbs, and also some people suffer from stroke. Like you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, Doctor Tianjin. You know, uh, he has some patients who suffer from you know the the central nerve injuries, uh, like thrombosis and stroke. There's a uh, uh, other kind of conditions, and also quite common. Loss of smile and uh, taste, and hearing problem, and sight problem, skin problem, and the digestive problems. So, you know, it seems like quite a lot of problems. It seems like a quite unique. But if you if you find some you know papers and find some you know research, find the evidence, we can see not only you know the COVID nineteen can cause these kind of a uh, problems just because the COVID-19 is multi-purpose, multi-targeted. For example, other, other kind of a virus still can make people have a encephalitis, a difficult breath, and stroke as well. Because, you know, some people, 
when we talk about, you know, people suffer from some kind of diseases, you know, we have to talk about different people who have their own individual constitution. So now people are saying, you know, uh, underlying diseases, because we have different kind of, kind of uh, constitution, we have different kind of uh, problems or underlying diseases that will make, you know, after, the, you know, uh, suffer from COVID-19, we have different kind of uh, uh, symptoms or problems. Yeah, it seems like a quite quite money, but uh, when we when we when we understand you know the process of the COVID nineteen, we you know we will understand how to deal with these kind of uh, conditions. For example, like uh, you know why people you know uh, people suffer from after the COVID nineteen or at the same time they have a you know uh, a skin problem. So okay, next page. Yeah, so it seems quite many post uh, post COVID nineteen symptoms. But if you look at you know this this pictures, uh, this uh, these are six levels, uh, just like a uh, six doors or six kind of uh, garages. We can put all kinds of uh, you know diseases or problems in all these uh, six drawers or categories. When when uh, we uh, first we just briefly talking about you know the process of the COVID nineteen. So first you say, Tai Yang, Tai Yang level. This Tai Yang level means uh, people suffer from the COVID nineteen because in Chinese medicine we say the Tai Yang is external condition, external level. So most of the time when people suffer from you know for example like a common cold or skin problem because all these we call you know external problems. First, you know the Tai Yang level get affected. That's a, we say the first layer of the body. For example, you know the surface of the body, the skin, and uh, the nose as well. This is the you know the, the surface of the body. People have a version of cold, with the fever, with the sweating or without sweating. Yeah, and then second level we say half external, half internal. So that make it quite interesting because you know the for the COVID nineteen. So some people they don't have quite obvious symptoms uh, at the beginning. They they have a, you know for example some people have a quite common symptoms. They have a, a sore throat, sore throat. So for the sore throat in you know in 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 the six you know, uh, meridian method we say you know the the second level get affected because we say half external still easy to get external pathogens because cover 19 you know is pathogens in chinese medicine we don't call it cover 19 in traditional one we, we don't call it cover 19 we say you know uh, damn uh, damn heat some people say damn cold yeah so so that makes people have a, you know the first symptoms might be you know the sore throat but different people have a different constitution some people you know first condition is you know just to feel uh a little bit tired, or loss of smell or taste. They still, talk, you know, has a close relationship with a Tai Yang level, because we see the nose. The nose, we say the superficial one. Superficial one, we say, you know, talking. We start talking about the lung in Chinese medicine. Lung dominating the skin and the hair, and the open orifice to the nose. So it's quite easy to understand, you know, the people have a, a get affected. Why people suffer from, you know, the the common cold? They have a the runny nose, blocked nose. But the current nineteen is a special. They have, you know, loss of the smile. Yeah, but still, you know, uh, easy to understand because, you know, not only current nineteen, but for other kind of, uh, you know, uh, viruses or get affected with the external problems, they still have a, you know. Uh, partially loss of smell but not like cover 19 that that serious and also maybe com, uh, you know other kind of viruses maybe combined with a block the nose but the cover 19 just the loss of loss of smell and no block the nose that make you know cover 19 a little bit different but still easy to understand still get affected uh you know the lung is a lung get affected it's the nose belonging to the lung in chinese medicine yeah if it goes to the second level we say disease goes to the second level, but some people just directly go to the second level because people have a different constitution. 
the, the first the symptoms, so throat. Yeah, and then the problem goes to the third, the third level. Go to the third level. Go to the third level. People have, you know, uh, we say uh, uh, pulmonary uh, pneumonia. We say uh, interstitial, interstitial pneumonia. That's you know the the COVID nineteen one. Interstitial pneumonia. Finally, people have a uh, fibrosis. Okay. So and uh, it goes to. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, so we say, you know, Taiyang, uh, this Taiyang disease, we talk about post COVID 19 symptoms. If you know Taiyang get affected, yeah, then we say there's a meridian symptoms and organ symptoms. You know, we say, for example, like, a, uh, you know, like a water accumulation, there's one type, the Taiyang disease, people lose control of the urination. And uh, the second one, blood accumulation. So people have a hemorrhagic cystitis and meningitis. That's, that's why, you know, some people suffer from, you know, the, you know, the common cold or COVID-19. You know, some people, you know, quite, you know, uh, going quite quickly to the quite serious problem. They have, a, you know, meningitis and a hemorrhagic in the system, uh, cystitis. That's, you know, uh, recalled, you know, in the Asian books, you know, the Shang Han Lun, the 2000 years ago. Yeah, so even though it's 2000 years ago, still apply to the, you know, covered 19, because, you know, like what I said, you know, uh, the evolution, uh, you know, the people evolution, it will, will take millions and millions and millions of years, 2000 years, just like a blink in the history. Okay, so uh, go to the next uh, page, uh, Dr. Tianjun, please. Yeah, if you, you go to the second, second level, so people have a, you know, uh, because you know, some of them, you know, po uh, post the uh, uh, COVID-19 symptoms, so they have a conjunctivitis, conjunctivitis, the ear get affected. Now you know, we, we understand nose can get affected, mouth, you know, we say the loss of a smile, mouth can get affected and ear can get affected, you know, and uh, you know, the eyes uh, can, can get affected. So it's so the second level, so this still, if people suffer from, you know, the COVID-19 symptoms, you know, uh, if you stop the COVID-19 here, the people after that, people maybe have, you know, conjunctivitis, you know, and not recovered, and uh, uh, temporitis, you know, as not get recovered. We treat the second level. The next page, please. Yeah, for the third level. Yeah, some people go to the third levels very quickly, maybe, you know, the first week, they, they don't have a quite serious problem, but maybe just in a next week, they go to the, you know, ICU. Yeah, quite serious conditions. In Chinese medicine, we say four varies. Few people will feel very thirsty, uh, get very, uh, uh, very heavily sweated and very high fever, and they have a very big pulse because consuming, you know, the waters, because it gets sweated heavily. People feel thirsty, definitely, you know, because, you know, water consumed. And just because water consumed, uh, some people, you know, uh, very quickly suffer from quite serious constipation. Yeah, because, you know, for the, for the COVID-19, one, one of the, you know, symptoms, uh, one of the treatment, we just uh, use purgative to make the stool out. That definitely can take the heat away to treat, you, you know, the, the, the conditions. Yeah, this is you know, called the young Ming disease. If we stop, you know, the COVID nineteen this level, and uh, so that will make you know, the disease go to the next stage. So next page, please. Yeah. So for the next level, so after you know, uh, get re uh, recovered of the COVID nineteen, uh, people might be feel very tiredness and uh, loss of smell and taste, but maybe just at the very beginning. <laughs> Please get lost. It depends. Yeah, if you want to treat the tiredness, it quite depends. Maybe not this level, but we say the location on this level, but mechanism might be not coming from this level because if you have the tiredness, maybe coming from you know uh, the Taiyin level, maybe coming from Shaoyin level or Juyin level. But in general, in, we say tiredness related with the you know Taiyin symptoms because we say some people you know uh, one of the symptoms uh, is they have a quiet, they have a sore 
muscle. The muscles feel quite painful after the COVID-19. So because in Chinese medicine, we say the spleen domin dominating the muscle. So spleen in this level is a, is a food. Tai yin is a spleen. People suffer from tiredness. If only the tiredness, no other you know, quite, uh, symptoms, we, we like to treat the, 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 the spleen level. So we just tonify the spleen. And the smell. So if there's something wrong with the smell, we like to you know, uh, deal with uh, you know, the lung. We say you know, the lung is a hand tai yin. And the taste, because the taste that, that we say, that's from you know, the spleen. We say the digestive system. So if something's wrong with the taste, we'd like to deal with the spleen system. So next page, please. Yeah, so then I will go to the, I will go to the fifth level. Yeah, for the fifth of le fifth level, you know, uh, after you know the the, the problems, uh, the virus, the virus, might be people have a myocarditis, or glomerular nephritis, or ocarditis. So that's why you know when you uh, you know search online, you know some papers, and not only you know the company, but also some kind of. Uh, other kind type of you know vir uh, viruses can make people uh, finally it can make people have uh, okay diet. Okay, that is you know that's just something's wrong you know with the uh, uh, with the scrotum can make people have infertility. Uh, make you know the the the, the quantity of the sperm get very less. Maybe have a make people have a no sperm. That's quite serious uh, you know serious conditions. Th this level, we, we, we say, uh, if people suffer from this kind of condition, we like to treat, you know, the Shao Yin. So we say the food Shao Yin, we talk about the kidney because, you know, in Chinese medicine, uh, the scrotum, you know, the reproductive system, the sperm is belonging to the, the kidney system. So, and uh, some, you know, for some kind of uh, reasons, you know, people, uh, suffer from the viruses, they can get the myocarditis. So that, I think this is not you know, difficult to understand because you know, other kind of uh, uh, viruses, like a you know, common cold, you know, especially uh, quite often for children, you know, or teenagers or, 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 or child. So after the common cold, because people have a different constitution, some children after the common cold, they have a myocarditis. They suffer from myocarditis or glomerular nephritis, just because you know the the you know the, the the virus the virus can affect you know the the heart the heart organ and also can affect you know, can affect you know the the kidney system make people have a quite uh, serious condition. So now uh, we now we we, we understand you know why you know people su suffer from COVID nineteen they have a quite you know, serious problems and like uh, uh, and uh, glomerular nephritis. So not only the COVID-19, so other, you know, uh, because you know, it, it is not unique symptoms and not unique problems uh, by the COVID-19. Other uh, viruses still can cause this kind of a problem, but not all the people have this kind of uh, conditions because we say underlying diseases, if they have no underlying diseases and also depends people's constitution because different people have a different kind of constitution. So that make people have a, their own weakest link and weakest uh, you know, organ, weakest level, you know, uh, some, you know so that make people easy to get some kind of a, easy to get some kind of a problems. Yeah. So the 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 last level, the last level, we say the Juyin disease. Okay. So people suffer, uh, you know, the, the the condition, and maybe you know they are living in the ICU for months. Finally, they quite they get they recovered, 
But after these, you know, the whole months, you know, the, the treatment, you know, people have a quite uh, serious, you know, the, the, the post covid 19 symptoms, you know, that's quite, uh, that's quite a serious one. That's, let me say, fibrosis. But not all the people have a fibrosis after the covid 19 because it is uh, uh, the fibrosis, you know, uh, in general, in general, uh, that's, you know, this uh, a chronic, you know, uh, damage or chronic injuries for all kinds of, you know, the pulmonary, pulmonary you know, problems. You know, finally, it can change into the fibrosis, but the COVID-19 uh, make it different. I mean, you know, it's not the chronic one, maybe, you know, maybe just uh, within a month, you know, uh, uh, just the discharge from the hospital and they have uh, uh, this kind of a quite serious condition, to say, you know, the fibrosis. So for the fibrosis, uh, you know, the, uh, for the Western medicine, they don't have a quite uh, effective treatment for the fibrosis. But, uh, but in, in Chinese medicine, it's working, actually it's working quite well because, you know, for this level, we can use, you know, some, uh, some herbs yeah, to deal with the fibrosis. You know, it's, uh, it can be, can be recovered quite well yeah, can we recover quite well? So what we what we need what we need to do? So the treatment we, we are dealing with uh, with, uh, uh, with this level. For, for for example, in Chinese medicine, we like to some herbs. So the fibrosis in Chinese medicine, we say blood stasis. So in Chinese medicine, it's called blood stasis. We we just like to use some herbs to to promote you know, the blood circulation and to remove the blood stasis. So uh, it's working quite well for some, you know, uh, you know, the, the, because we mentioned some research, and not only, you know, cover 19, you know, some research, you can Google it and uh, find the, you know, the evidence, you know, so uh, the, the treatment to, to deal with the blood stasis is working quite well for the uh, fibrosis. So we just you know, talking about you know the uh, the how to deal uh, briefly. So for the for the for the first level, we are treat we are treating cover nineteen similar like you know uh, sim I, I said similar not exactly similar like we are treating the common cold. We use the herbs you know very similar but a little bit different because you know the cover nineteen is you know much stronger than the common viruses. So the second level, second level. So the the in Chinese medicine, you know, the treating method we say harmonizing treatment. Harmonizing, we use some herbs to treat this level to to deal with, uh, for example, like uh, the the post symptoms like a uh, conjunctivitis. Yeah, for the tiredness, because for the tiredness, this is quite common, you know, symptoms tiredness. Tai yi, the fourth level can get tiredness, and uh, the fifth level can get tiredness. And uh, you know the last level can get tiredness as well. For example, if people suffer from the fibrosis, they are uh, very difficult to to breathe. Of course, very easy to get tired. All these three levels, all these three levels can get tiredness. Yeah. So we have to do the pattern differentiation. So which level get affected? Okay. So, uh, next page. Okay, so this is what I want to share uh, today. So thank you for listening. Hey, Yi老师, your phone didn't open. Thank you very much for um, Dr. Se Xiaojun to give us a wonderful uh, lecture. And this lecture is actually is uh, I think is uh, is a knocking bridge um, um, to a great door um, exploring into the herbal um, treatment um, study journey. So um, he he will be uh, teaching in the, the the herbal course about the um, 
the uh, Liu Jing and uh, um, uh, with, with the understanding, deep understanding about the Liu Jing's uh, syndromes, you are able to see a lot more deeper into the illnesses, including the COVID-19 uh, associated conditions. And, uh, and, and I will be uh, giving another approach uh, later on today about the meridian palpation, which is related very much closely related to the Liu Jing as well. So um, I hope everyone will enjoy that too. And next will be Professor Tianjun Wang um, 